about uh, tonight and how um, how precious the time that it is. Uh, it seems like only a few years ago that I was graduating high school and I got to thinking back and it was 14 years ago that I was graduating high school so it's a little more than 14. I've seen that. <laughs> it's been that long. It, it has been that long since I, I graduated. But, but I can remember back and there's choices that I made that I would, I would go back and do what we'd like to. Um, but that's part of the road. Man. That's part of the road. And, and if you've got your Bibles, if you don't, we're going to throw it up here on the screen. I'm going to read out Proverbs chapter 3. I'm going to start reading verse 1. I'm going to read down through verse 7. It says, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life of peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Now, verses 5 and, and 6 that are really the main ones. And, and if I could, if I could, I know this is kind of a graduation celebration night, but, but before a whole church, if we could concentrate on verses 5 and 6, and I want to read them over again. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Now, that's some bold words, isn't it? That's some bold words for, for two girls that, that's fixing to, I guess, go off to college. I'm not talking to either one of them, but I, but I guess that's the plan. And, and, and some very strong things to live by. You know, there's going to be things that, that happen down through life. And as adults, we, we still have those things that happen down through life. But the best thing is, if you can instill in you now, if you can take it to your heart and apply it now, that lean not into your own understanding. Trust in the Lord because what? He's good, isn't He? God's good. He's never made the wrong decision. We've made the wrong decision multiple times, haven't we? By trying to do things on our own. By trying to, trying to go down our own paths. Instead of letting Him direct our paths, like it says in verse 6. Don't forget, guys, who's helped you through. Don't forget who's helped you through all this. I know mom and dad's been a very integral part of your lives. Mom and Dad has been there for you guys, and, and I know every one of them is his parents, and, and they've been there, and will continue to be there. But I tell you what, there's going to be a time in your life that Mom and Dad is not going to be right there. It may be a time that you're off in school, it may be in the middle of the night, it may be later on down in life that, you, that your parents are done and gone, but there's going to come a point in time in life where you can't call up and say, Mama, what do I do? Or Daddy, what do I do? But the main thing is to train your life in, in, in order to, to, to follow Him. To follow the path that He set before you. You know, as a kid, I, I grew up in churches and I never never will forget and this always aggravated me. Is we need to pray for our youth. They're the church of the future. They're the church of tomorrow. How many of you ever heard that statement? <clears throat> well, that's a lie. That statement's been made multiple, multiple times in churches. And that's a lie, church. The youth of church right now. The youth in this church, in every church, is just as big a part of this church as anybody else in it. The youth is just, can play just as big a role as mere dad either one. The youth can play just as big a role as Tammy playing the piano or Sunday school teachers teaching. Youth are important. God wants you to trust in Him more and more. Even when you don't understand what's going on, that's when you trust Him. So trust Him when, when all the way is hard and perilous. When times are rough, you got to trust Him. Life can be tough. But I, I wrote down some ways of, of how you can tell when you've had a rotten day. You wake up face down on the pavement. Pretty rotten day. You call the suicide prevention line and they put you on hold. It's pretty rotten, isn't it? You see a 60 minute snooze team waiting in your office. That's pretty rotten. Your birthday cake collapses from the weight of all the candles on it. 
There's some in here getting up there. I know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> you turn on the news and they're showing emergency routes out of the city. That's a bad day, right? Your twin sister forgot your birthday. It's kind of a bad day. Uh, your car horn accidentally goes off and remains stuck as you follow a group of mean, ugly bikers down the freeway. That's kind of a bad day. And your boss tells you not to even bother taking off your coat and getting comfortable. The bird singing outside your window is a buzzard. That's pretty rough. You wake up and your braces are locked together. That's kind of stinks, though. Your income tax check bounces. That's kind of rough, and you put both contact lenses into the same eye. You know, I mean, that's a day starting off being rough. There's going to be days like that ahead of you. That's what I'm saying. We've had some fun with this, but there's going to be days ahead that's going to be rough. But what I'm telling you is, is that to always lean on Him. There's going to be things that that, that come your way. And, uh, of you don't understand it. And I know this may sound crazy. You girls going to college of not knowing what classes to take. God can show you what classes to take too. Nothing is insignificant to Him. Nothing is insignificant. You know, anytime you don't understand, and I know this it seems like I'm, I'm neglecting the kids going to high school too, but the, there's going to be days where you're going to be calling on you too, where you'll need to. There's going to be times it's rough. I don't know how to spell how do I spell no. You know, you're going to have to call on him and say, hey, you know, I need some help. You know, he can help. He can help. Just never forget to neglect him because he's never neglected you. He's always been there and he'll always continue.